what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i am back with another example chart and today the chart is of a teacher who teaches online okay so today we will see some of the uh, placements and combinations which uh, can make one a teacher or uh, any sort of uh, educator basically okay so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website below and what else if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with those who want to know if they can become a teacher or not all right so now here and yes before i begin i must say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so this is the uh, birth details gurgaon india 2013 9th september 1980 okay so this is the chart of a person who teaches online not like other teachers yes uh, so here now again before i start this uh, chart here i would like to give the standard disclaimer that there are many things in this chart which i will ignore because the focus of this chart is only to display how the person will be into teaching etc and apart from that there are many other yogas which can make one a teacher about which we will discuss some other time okay so if you do not have these yogas and if you want to become a teacher so do not uh, think that uh, you cannot become a teacher okay and the next thing is if you have some of these combinations about which i will tell here it doesn't mean that you will become a teacher okay depending on other things of course all right so let's start here so as I said that this person is teaching online so how do you see that online thing see if you are a teacher basically like in a country like India or any other country then you may be teaching to how many people 100 200 300 at a stretch right but you can't be teaching to uh, 10,000 people at a stretch yes that is not possible I mean you can't have a room where there are 10,000 people sitting but if you are teaching online yes suppose you are teaching in youtube then it can happen that many 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 people are watching you yes so that means the seventh house becomes very important here and here you see the lagna lot considering the fact that this is a aries ascendant because the number one sign is in the ascendant so this lagna lot which shows the person the personality the body that has gone to the seventh house yes so when the lagna lot goes in seventh then that shows that the person will display himself to the public yes that is what is uh, the meaning of lagna lot in the seventh it can have a million other meanings of course but uh, in this case this is acting that way so now uh, this has to be supported by other combinations in the chart so now we know that uh, the planet rahu and the planet ketu they represent unorthodox things yes so if they are linked with the 10th house or the 10th lord or conjunct then uh, it can happen that the uh, there is something weird about uh, this uh, person's uh, career or the way they are acting primarily in their life so that is very much possible here and here you see that ketu is situated in the 10th house and that shows that uh, there will be something different or something unconventional or something which uh, uh, he might be criticized for in the beginning why do i say beginning because ketu doesn't have the head so when when uh, this person would have said to his family members in a country like india especially that oh i'll become a teacher online yes so then uh, his family members would have definitely objected to it and they would have said no 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 we will not let you become yes or they would have uh, behaved with him a bit sarcastically that oh your friends will become millionaires one day and you will become this online teacher nobody is going to see or learn what you are uh, telling them yes that's not going to happen because those days uh, i mean from last 15 years you can't expect that in the in ages like 2004 2005 there's much of online teaching but nowadays that is gaining a lot of popularity so that is seen by ketu's presence in the 10th house yes so something different this person will be doing whenever it comes to the 
10th house of career okay now what are the natural significators of education here we know jupiter and mercury are the natural significators yes so mercury here is in the sixth house it is in the sign of virgo it is exalted so this shows that this person's uh, ability to grasp things and link things yes mercury shows the ability to link link different things together yes so uh, this is extremely strong in the chart yes considering the fact that it is also the ruler of the sixth house which is sitting in the sixth house itself so this is another vipreet raj yoga which is occurring in the chart and this mercury is also conjunct the 10th lord saturn now what does this mean that his uh, primary uh, activities which is his daily activities in life which is the sixth house will be to deal with his career yes and that's very true because uh, this person says he enjoys working very much and for him uh, it's not like work it is like a lifestyle so even if uh, somebody mails him uh, then this person will not hesitate to reply to the query and this person loves to work basically so this these things can happen when 10th lord is in the sixth in a good dignity because here saturn is in the sign of virgo and virgo is a very friendly sign for uh, saturn because mercury is a friend and saturn also likes to sit in air signs and earth signs considering that it rules the sign of capricorn which is the uh, highest of earth signs here yes number 10 so this uh, this shows that you uh, you like to work basically yes because this is a good dignity and it is conjunct mercury which is the ruler of that house itself so this is bringing a lot of good things in this chart although uh, sixth house is not a very good house so this can show that this person is very hard working and this person likes to work hard so that is being shown uh, by this placement of 10th lord in the sixth now if you see carefully here it is said that seventh house is also the house of profession yes because it is 10 from the 10th so it is the higher octave of the 10th house and here the seventh lord which is venus it is in uh, digbala here it is placed in the fourth house which means it's extremely strong and that's very true because this person sits in home and makes videos yes videos and youtube etc come under rahu so again you see this uh, Rahu Ketu access which is coming here so because of this also this uh, this thing is happening because uh, when Venus is in the fourth house then the person likes to stay in home very much yes so uh, now here Rahu is also the co-lord of the 11th house so this sitting in home is giving him a lot of money here because Rahu co-rules Aquarius along with Saturn here so 11th lord Saturn is also in the sixth house which is fabulous for money and also here the 11th lord the other lord is rahu which is sitting here with venus here in the fourth house so this person makes uh they, this person loves to make videos in home so video and photography and all these is seen by rahu yes and uh, this person has a very nice studio inside the home itself so those things are shown by venus rahu in the fourth of course this can have a million meanings now the other things that are to be seen is the linkage between the trinal houses yes because they are also the house of education and knowledge so here if you check the ninth lord jupiter which is also the twelfth lord but the multicon sign of jupiter is sagittarius which is in the ninth house so this is falling here uh, in the ninth house and that is in the fifth so if fifth is in fifth lord is in the ninth or ninth lord is in the fifth then these uh, combinations are very good for teaching learning education purposes because the person is uh, having the ability to grasp and understand a lot of things so here you see that we see that jupiter is in the fifth house it aspects the 11th house of income the ninth house of education and it also aspects the lagna here so this person is by nature very positive so ninth lord aspecting the lagna is a very good thing in the chart all right uh, then we see the fifth lord which is sun is also in leo that is also extremely powerful here yes sun in leo is very strong that is also aspecting the 11th house of income and moon is also here in leo so fourth lord in leo so fourth house shows 
those things which make you happy in life yes because that's the house of heart your home basically so when venus is in the fourth or moon is in the fourth then that can show that the home is very beautiful uh, but when the fourth lord is in the fifth or ninth this can show that the person likes to learn and teach yes because ninth house is teaching and is the house of the guru basically and fifth house is the house of the disciple the student so this can show that the person has loves to take our students and talk to them answer their queries etc yes this is also because third house is also the house of uh, giving to others because uh, giving knowledge basically yes because that's opposite of the ninth house so that third lord mercury is also conjunct the tenth lord uh, here and it is also the conjunct the 11th lord of income in the sixth house so that is also seen by that so many things in this chart beautiful combinations so second lord venus is again in the fourth house so something to do with home and finances those things are coming but the, the element of rahu is also there here so these are the things especially jupiter's presence in the fifth house is very considered very good for education and considering in this chart that it is not only Jupiter it is also the ninth law so this is doubly uh, emphasized here and Mercury is also exalted in the sixth house yes and Sun which is the fifth Lord is conjunct Jupiter which is the ninth Lord so fifth Lord conjunct ninth Lord is fabulous for education teaching purposes and uh, moon which is the fourth Lord of happiness is also in the fifth house of uh, students and disciples and uh, subordinates yes so this person loves to talk to people and give guidance and uh, there are three planets in the fifth house that is a beautiful placement to have in the fifth house because fifth house is a very good house of the horoscope yes so that is all what i wanted to say here that uh, the lagna lord in seventh ketu in the tenth with something unorthodox 10th Lord conjunct 3rd Lord and the 11th Lord itself Saturn in the 6th house with Mercury being exalted and Jupiter also being very strong in Leo being in the 5th house and ruling the 9th house and Sun the 5th Lord being in the 5th and the 4th Lord Moon being in the 5th house and Venus Rahu in the 4th showing uh, something a bit exotic or something a bit beautiful or something a bit different of the home yes so that is what I wanted to show through this video of course there are many other things which i have not shared and there are so many other things his marriage and his health and etc yes so about which we will not discuss because that's not the focus of this video all right so that's it from my side if you're new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website or else bye bye see you